Hi everyone, John here, and this is my snow day overdrive. It's called that because I had the day off from work on Monday due to snow, and I had wanted to throw together a simple project just to pass the time. Instead, I ended up designing something new and breadboarding all week. So this is the result. It's a FET-based overdrive, similar to a lot of the runoff groove circuits. Um, and that's followed by a kind of peculiar MOSFET section with MOSFETs used as clipping diodes in the feedback loop of a MOSFET amplifier. And then a couple um, tricks to lower the clipping threshold, I mean raise the clipping threshold and, um, and kind of soften the overall clipping. Um, it's got a treble control that's Mark Hammer's stupidly wonderful tone control. In this one it cuts treble between uh, starting at 15k down to about 800 hertz, so it's not extreme, um, won't sound like you're playing underwater, but it's very effective and doesn't change the volume when you change the tone setting. The volume is the master volume, of course, and the gain is the preamp gain starting after the first stage. In the center is a really cool little um, switch that turns on a miniature compressor, and I learned this from a guy named Aquitar um, in Germany, and he did it on Runoff Groove's Umble circuit. I decided to try it here, and I liked it, so I added it. And it's got three settings. It's no compression in the middle, low compression on the left, that has a higher threshold, and high compression on the right, which has a lower threshold, just lets everything through. Um, and I'm going to start off on a clean setting, gain is at 9 o'clock, volume is at 3, and tone is at noon. Um, first I'll be going through the tone settings because the clean settings are the best place to hear that. The tone is just before the, uh, the, the, the MOSFET section, so before you, get, before you do most of the clipping. So it doesn't cut a lot of the harmonics that you create after that stage. Um, I'm on the lead channel of the amp, mid bite is off, tone is at 7, volume is at 2, so nice and clean and nice flat EQ. Here's the bypass. too much of a change. It's a tiny bit darker than the dry setting, but if we turn the treble knob all the way up, bypass, gets a little bit brighter than the, than the dry signal, and tone all the way down. It's just a, just a hair darker than the dry setting. Um, it would be a little bit more noticeable if I used Strat or, um, or a Telecaster maybe, and um, also could have switched to the rhythm channel of the amp, which has a little bit more trouble. But, but again, the tone knob is, is not extreme. It's just meant to shave off some of the harmonics early. I'm going to put all the controls at noon. This is a good edge of breakup sound.
So it keeps lots of nice good clarity, um, not too much clipping from the MOSFETs, a little bit of compression from them, just a, just a hair. Um, not too much clipping in the preamp, this has um, pretty wide dynamic range. Also, um, since it runs on 18 volts, it's got a pretty high headroom overall. So even with the added, even with the added harmonics and a little bit of clipping each time, it, it doesn't get too overly compressed in that setting. Um, this is also a good setting for um, turning on the compression just to make it feel a little bit like a vintage amp. And this is right about the point where the compression kicks in, so, um, so it's not too extreme in this setting. This is off. I know it's not going to translate to a YouTube video. I mean, an audio-only demo that I'm posting on my website um, that goes through tons and tons of settings also has overdubs with um, different... I mean, the guitar using different settings on the, on the overdrive for, for all of the settings. Um, and also has a pretty good run-through of all the compression settings. But I, I will go through that a little bit more um, when I'm on the higher gain settings, just because it's a little more obvious. And back off the volume a little bit here, and put the gain up to a little bit past 2 o'clock. And roll off the tone to make it a little bit smoother. <laughs> just early in the in the circuit. Lowering the guitar's volume just changes the gain. The gain. said the compression's a lot more noticeable on higher gain settings so and here it's also a lot more noticeable that the treble gets um, goes away a little bit so that actually helps with the distortion um, also it lowers the total amount of distortion when, when you set the when you've got it on the um, compression settings so because the compression is before the MOSFET section uh, so it's before a lot of the clipping Since that's a different kind of compression than what you get from the MOSFET feedback loop, uh, it, it also adds a little bit of interest there. But I, again, I think that the high gain setting with the high compression setting is a little bit too much. So, um, so I prefer the low set, the low compression setting on the higher gain settings. And just 
Just to do an AB here real quick, this is no compression. <laughs> said I did an audio only demo that I posted on my website that shows a lot of a lot of other neat tricks um, one really cool thing about having the compression circuit in here is um, for a while I was trying to find a way to make an overdrive that when you lowered your guitar's volume it um, brightened up the sound instead of making it darker which is what usually happens because you roll down your guitar volume you lose a lot of the harmonics that you created and that makes the overall sound a lot darker um, this will, um, when it cleans up with the compression on, it'll actually um, brighten up a little bit. So, um, so that was one really cool thing about the compression. Also, I find that um, just having a little bit of compression on when you're on the lower gain settings can just make it feel a little bit more amp-like without having to rely on um, a higher compression setting on um, like the compressor that's in my chain all the time. Um, or for people who don't really want a dedicated compressor pedal, but um, but want an overdrive with some compression aspects, especially when you start getting into higher gain stuff, um, then this might do that. Um, and as I said, it's still got plenty of um, dynamic range, especially when the compression's off. So um, still, still doesn't feel overly compressed. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be posting a build thread on all the DIY forums as usual, and um, I'll post the schematic and everything else on my website. And I hope you've enjoyed this demo. Thanks.